Hey guys, we got some news here from The Wrap saying that Hulu is open to reviving the Defenders shows, the Netflix Marvel shows that have been cancelled recently. So let's get into here. Here's what they have to say. They talk about it here and they straight up asked, uh, you know, would you be able, would they want to take them over and revive them over on, on Hulu? And they already have the relationship with Marvel and Disney with the uh, Runaway show and they're, they've announced that they're doing some cartoons and stuff that are not going to be in the MCU, but they're going to be interesting to see. So um, they pretty much, here's their response to it, saying that it kind of depends on when uh, they're ready and who and most importantly what is going on uh what's going in behind the scenes of this thing so i think it could be something interesting they're not really as the way the all the articles have been saying it's like oh they're open to taking it on it just depends on when things go open yeah they're open to it they're always open to taking stuff stuff over there's already a fan base to it why would they not want to take it over at least give it a shot for an extra season or two depending on to see as to where things go so they're not straight up saying no they're not straight up saying yes so i think it's really going to just be iffy to see as to where things go with this but for me, I think it's going to be interesting to see as to what happens with all these Marvel shows because to me, the way I look at it for all these uh, Marvel shows is if you have Kevin Feige coming to the Disney streaming service and he's going to be bringing a bunch of shows, a bunch of characters that are already established in the movies that more people know than any of the Netflix shows and anything like that, um, and then having these movies, that these new shows where all the big things that happen in them can affect the movies and vice versa, and they're way more connected in the movies, and then you have these other shows, oh no, 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 this show can affect the movies, but this show cannot affect the movie so all the stuff on the disney streaming service can affect the movies but not the stuff on hulu i think that's a kind of a bit um a, a bit different for them to do that now if they brought those, those shows back and they put them on hulu to keep them dark and they wanted you know the more violent stuff on hulu and the less violent stuff on the disney stuff but kevin feige was still involved with the Nef with the uh the 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 charlie cox daredevil the, the mike colter luke cage Kristen ritter jessica jones things like that um those stuff if, if karen feige came on board with that and then they were to be interconnected with the mcu a lot more than they are because they already are in the mcu they're just things that happen in there are never referenced or never really affected uh the the movies and stuff and so that's what i'd like to see with more of these mo these shows yes i'd like to see them come back but i'm kind of uh happy with them staying away as long as we get all the new shows from now on start to get really connected on there and if something huge happens in the shows i want it to affect the movies you know uh you know i want to be able to feel like you know someone in the in the in the a character who's in the movies could show up in the in the shows and he could die in the show and then you never see him again in the movie and if you don't watch the show you're completely uh completely uh, out of touch and that's how i want it to be i'd like it to be to the point where you have to watch the movies you have to watch the movies and the shows otherwise you you're you're out of the loop and oh well too bad for you and you're you you know you have to watch everything uh, and stuff. So hopefully they can do stuff like that. I'm not sure how they're gonna do it, the, where things are gonna go with this. I think it's just really uh, up in the air to see as to if they're ready to, if they're willing to do it. I think anyone's willing to take this, but it all depends on again who canceled the show. We're not entirely sure as to who canceled it. Was it Marvel? Was it was it Netflix? Um, if it was Marvel, then they probably don't want uh, they want to like I said focus on things that are gonna be you know run by Kevin Feige and then maybe everything is gonna get canceled. Who knows? But we'll just have to wait and see as to where things go with this. So let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. Would you like Netflix, uh, Hulu to take this over? Um, or would you prefer, to, like I said, to just focus on the, uh, the Kevin Feige Disney streaming service, Disney Plus shows? That's what I would like to see them do. Just put more focus on that, onto those $100 million uh, shows. Because once we see those shows that are going to be $100 million budget, I don't think we're going to be wanting Daredevil back just because unless he, he comes back with his own $100 million budget uh, or at least something bigger than he did. So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go, but uh, only time will tell for now. So let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you want to check this article out, they do talk a little bit more about the cartoons and stuff. I'll have a link in the description for you to check that out. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.